John the Baptist told the Pharisees who came to him in the desert, Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. The original Greek word for repentance, metanoia, really means changing your perspective from the ordinary viewpoint to the large viewpoint, the deeper self where God dwells. For any of us, this would be a kind of waking up or a kind of new birth, a fruit of a deeper perspective that comes to the surface. The more we permit this perspective to rise in us, the more we live as the new self or the new man that St. Paul mentions. The new man who, as he says, is created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. We are called to walk in the spirit of the new man. We can let this happen the more we rest happily in God instead of resting in our natural man or ordinary self. We usually live by the ordinary viewpoint, and that natural man, as St. Paul calls it, is darkened. It is like wearing dark sunglasses in a beautiful temple at night you cannot see the beauty. Paul tells the Corinthians, The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. To the Ephesians, he says, They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, due to the hardening of their hearts. God, through Christ, gives us the indwelling of his Holy Spirit. Therefore, as St. Paul tells the Corinthians, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. It's the old man or the natural man that has gone and the new man has come in Christ. For, as Paul tells the Colossians, you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. And the fruit of the deeper or higher perspective is a peace, the peace of God which goes beyond all understanding.